The federal government says it is undertaking a massive strategic intervention in food security by establishing six plant health clinics across the geopolitical zones in the country. This was revealed by the Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Dr. Mohamed Aubakar, at a media conference by the Nigerian Agricultural Quarantine Service, NACS, to mark the International Day of Plant Health in Abuja. The minister said one of the challenges in plant health is the uncontrolled use of plant protection products which has led to Nigeria losing 50% of its annual farm gate value to the damages of plants. He however stressed the need to plant health seriously as plant health threats undermines food security and increases the vulnerability of livelihoods dependent on crop value chains. The Buhari administration is, under, is undertaking a massive strategic intervention to equip the NAQS uh, post entry station and training school in Ibadan to serve as a center of excellence in plant health. NAQS is planning to establish six plant health clinics across the geopolitical zones of the country. Furthermore, NAQS supports plant health by providing three storage, free storage um, uh, pesticides to poor farmers. Speaking of pesticides, one of our challenges in plant health is the uncontrollable, uncontrolled use of plant protection products. We must take plant health seriously because plants are in con constant danger of being attacked by viruses, bacteria, nematodes, insects, aphids, and fungi. This plant health threat undermine food security and increase the vulnerability of livelihood dependent on crops uh, value chains. In Nigeria, we lose 50% of our animal farm gate value to the damages of pests, annual farm gate value to, to the damages of pests. They cause yield and quality losses, reduce food availability, and increase food prices. The threat to plant health have pro proliferated with the increase in international trade and travel resulting in growth in the value and diversity of plants and plant products that arrive in different countries. The Director General of NACS, Dr. Vincent Isigbe, has advised exporters of agricultural produce to follow the right procedures by coming to the agency for necessary certifications before embarking on exports. He said this will aid Nigeria rank high in the international markets and aid economic growth. able to draw the attention of the nation to the fact that the high levels of uh, um, rejections that we talked about, most times the details are not brought. They just mention, oh, we have 50 rejections, we have 100 rejections, we have two rejections, without stating exactly what caused those rejections. And I think Nigerians uh, should know exactly what are the major reasons for the rejections. Apart from the over 11 reasons as to why agricultural produce can be rejected, there are some that have come prominently, showing more than 85, 82 to 85% of the total number of rejections that we've had. And most of them come from prohibitive items, particularly wood bags. You know, we like our traditional medicine so much and uh, even our brothers overseas in diaspora, they still demand for these products. So most of the bags of medicinal plants that we export are prohibited. And the advocacy is that we should process them in a way that will be acceptable to the international community and to the National Plant Protection Organization of those countries that we're importing it to. And one of the best ways to do it is to grind it. Healthy plants means a thriving economy. Hence, the healthier the plant's resources are, the more business value the nation can generate from crop agriculture and creates decent jobs in the crop value chains. Anit Patrick, Call TV News, Abuja.